Hello guys, Prob2010 with you today and welcome to another Sony Vegas tutorial. In this tutorial we're going, to, we're going to be creating an effect like this inside of Sony Vegas. So check it out. Alright, so basically the screen zooms in and basically goes over this other screen. And that's just the transition that you may want to use in one of your videos and something like that. I actually had a request for this video tutorial, that's why I'm creating it. But I'm pretty sure a lot of you will find it useful out there as well. So, this tutorial is very simple. Uh, it involves keyframes though, so if you don't know what that is, that might be a little bit difficult for you to understand at first, but you'll get the grasp of it in no time. So, let's begin. Let me start from scratch, so I'm going to right click and delete all the layers, just so that mine's, my window looks the same as yours. Now, here we have our two videos. Now, what you want to think of, or what you want to remember, is that your top layer, is going, your top video, is going to be the one that's going to take over the whole screen. And we're going to right click right now and create two video tracks one for each layer, one for each video. And let's go ahead and grab this layer first. Well, no, let's grab this one here. And we won't be needing the audio track, so we can right click and delete that. I won't be needing the audio track. If you need the audio track, keep it. Right click and delete that as well. So now at this point, we just have two video tracks. This one's gonna be overlaying this. Th this one's gonna basically zoom in the whole screen and take over covering this one up. So uh, let me just, just cut out some unnecessary footage here. Let me go to some where something actually happens. Okay, and uh, great. So let's begin. What we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and make the split screen effect. So to do that, go ahead and click on this track motion button. Well, I mean, I suggest you watch my tra uh, split screen tutorial before watching this video. But just because I'm nice, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So we're going to basically create the split screen effect. And here goes one screen gonna grab this and scale this down and move that over to this other side of the screen there we go we can actually distort this just to make it fit in just a little bit better okay great so now we basically have our split screen effect and if we play this back both videos play at the same time so let's begin we're going to first we're gonna set some keyframes and what keyframes are they're basically placeholders that hold information uh, and I'll show you in just a second what I mean. But you want to go to your very top layer, and this is where we're only this is the only layer we're going to be setting keyframes for. So go ahead and click on this track motion button again, and here you will have a timeline inside of this window, as you can see here. And what this timeline is is it allows you to uh, basically set keyframes for your footage. And what keyframes are, they're basically like information holders that hold the information for that particular second, for that particular frame. And I'll show you what I mean. Now you can see all this information, the position, orientation, rotation, all this is set uh, within each keyframe. And if it's the same throughout the whole thing, it's not going to change. But if we, let's say, go to 5 seconds, or, or somewhere where the video is available, and screw with this a little bit, you can see that this thing changes right here. And if you scroll back in time, you can see that it adjusts itself to reach this specific point in that time with within these this amount of seconds so basically it's mathematically uh, it's a mathematical thing so what it does is it calculates how long it will take for, to get from this point to that point so if we take a look at our preview window we can see what's actually going on it's kind of moving that way but we're not we don't need it to move that way. we just need it to zoom in and take up the whole screen so the same thing applies with that but before we act, before instead of doing this, what we just did, we're gonna actually set a keyframe that's exactly the same as the beginning keyframe, just so that it doesn't automatically start the effect. And what I mean by that is, if we're gonna go here, let's say this is at this point we want this video to fully fill up the screen. If we do that, right? I mean, it's no, it's not good. Let me just, I just, I just want to show you what I mean. Then from the very beginning of the video, it's gonna make its way to filling up the whole screen, and we don't want that. What we want is. Uh, to to stay like that for for a while, maybe up to this point, and you can go ahead and click on this create keyframe button. And what that's gonna do is gonna basically create the keyframe at that time, what it, what it is at that time. So it's the same as the beginning keyframe, and it's not gonna change anything in between. So now from this we can go forward some, and at this point, let's say by this time, we want it to fully fill up the screen. So this is now where we can change the center point and we can scale this up some and just move it around just to 
make it fit in within the regions of the preview window. So let's go ahead and keep keep resizing this. Now make sure you have your aspect ratio on because I gotta turn that off just so that I can fit that other video in. But when you're gonna be actually working on your project, make sure that you keep it on. Okay, so this looks great. Now let me show you what I mean. So in the beginning, th this keyframe is the same as this keyframe, causing no change between that time period. But then from this time to this time, it starts zooming in. And what's cool is that now you can see them over here. And if you don't like the speed of this, if you think this is moving too fast for you, you can grab this little point right there. I'm pretty sure you can see it. And like even move closer or further away from that other point. So if I move it further away, then it will take longer for the effect to actually happen. But if I move it closer, then it has less time to make the effect happen, therefore making the effect faster. And another thing that you may want to consider is right clicking on these little things and going to smooth. And this will kind of smooth out your transition instead of giving it a rough zoom in and uh, stuff like that. So let's go ahead and play this back. So let me just select this region. Oops. Select the region and press Shift B on my keyboard. And it's going to basically pre render this video. And I'll come back to it when it's finished. Okay, so basically it looks pretty good. Now I may be moving too fast, so I may want to go ahead and move this back some based on personal preference and play that back again. And this is how you create this effect. I hope, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, post them in the comment sections below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Rate, comment, subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.